Gold Investment Rule, New Legend Jeffrey Talpins, 13 consecutive years without losses, even big profits when the market staggered in 2008 and 2018. CEO of Element Capital Management is emerging as one of the best but also tightest fund managers on Wall Street today. Unlike a reputable fund manager, Jeffrey Talpins is considered one of Wall Street's most mysterious fund managers, never appearing on television, rarely speaking at congregations. Industry Conference However, not many fund managers can do what Jeffrey Talpins did, no losses for 13 consecutive years, including the year of the 2008 economic crisis and the recent slump, 2018. Quietly Talpin's fund manager Element Capital Management has become a serious competitor in the list of the brightest investment funds in the world with a capital of more than $18 billion, up from $6 billion compared to three years ago. Blackstone Group and Abu Dhabi Investment Authority each have more than $100 million in Element Capital Management. As of the end of November 2018, Element Capital Management recorded a profit of more than 26%, far ahead of its competitors in 2018 when it was considered the most unpredictable year since the financial crisis of 2007 to 2008. Jeffrey Talpins, the head of Element, is a former math expert at Yale University. People who log into the fund's computer system every day even on vacation spend most of their time focusing on developing investment systems. His focus is on trying to incorporate macro bets with a new quantitative approach that features bets on the structure of the stock, bond and currency markets. Unlike most operating funds in the market, Talpins invests in a macro direction with many different asset channels. The 43-year-old's favorite product is the option to predict changes in economic decisions. In recent months, this fund has benefited from the bet on raising interest rates. Earlier this year, when political instability in Italy affected the market, Element also made a profit from buying insurance on interest rates and currencies, designed to combat stresses and variables. Dynamic Growth in the Euro Area An ideal transaction is a profitable trade with a strong rally, but limiting possible losses rather than making a complete bet on the future of stocks or bonds. Element is good at using option contracts with thorough calculations, so they often make a profit with the right decisions more than they lose if it's the wrong decision, Adam Blitz, director executive of Evanston Capital Management told the Wall Street Journal. As the company grew, Talpins was the one who kept the final decisions on big deals. But then he gradually allowed colleagues to have more impact on transactions after finding it difficult to achieve optimal control with a larger scale. However, the success brought Talpins another challenge, the more successful the element, the bigger the scale, the harder it will be to beat the market in the future. Or to put it simply, the larger the size of this investment fund, the harder it is to maintain a high profitability rate. Many well-known fund managers have encountered difficulties when the size of the fund expanded too fast with previous successes leading to difficult risk management. According to Jeffrey Talpins, if investors are not interested in risk management, when there are unexpected unexpected fluctuations in the market, the loss will come very quickly. Because we often have a habit of thinking about the level of profitability as well as the expected price target when buying a stock. From a risk management perspective, this is a bad habit. It is easy for us to be surprised if the market fluctuates not as originally expected. So, now start thinking about the stop-loss threshold when you buy a stock to ensure that we can always be ready in unexpected situations. Originally in the market, although the element focused on the most liquid markets, transactions could still become more difficult or costly as the fund grew larger and managing larger amounts can put pressure on managers to come up with new strategies to make the best use of huge cash, forcing the fund to switch to another investment style, while preventing element-centered smaller markets. John Paulson currently only manages less than $9 billion, down from $38 billion previously, 
David Einhorn's green light capital has dropped to about $5.5 billion from $12 billion. Meanwhile, London-based Brevin Howard Asset Management, managed by Alan Howard, only managed nearly $7 billion, down from $40 billion, although this year was one of the win the market. However, despite the fact, Jeffrey Talpins and Element Capital Management are also becoming a Wall Street legend. An investment fund has the average return rate of the last 13 years of 21%, not losing any year whether it is the 2007 to 2008 economic crisis or a year of strong fluctuations like 2018.